just uh, take a look at analyzing our acquisition. Now, just to refresh your memory, we uh, took my USB drive and we created this uh, .eve file. Now, um, while I'm here, let me take a look at that um, USB drive. And I have one, uh, looks like one file on it. Um, text, text document. If I double click that, and too smart for you ever to find me, just wanted to send this message telling you that. Signed, Joan C. Okay, so we got one file on that. Okay, so let's um, bring up Pro Discover. This is 7.0. We'll cancel there, and then we'll do a file, new project. Give it a project number and then a name analysis underscore one. Click OK. Now the here's add. So if I expand that, you see there's a capture and add image. That's where you can do it all in one, where you create the EV EV file and then you add it automatically. If I click on uh, image file, it'll pop up here and. Mine's already at the folder, but if yours isn't, you can click the Windows, and then go into whatever folder wherever you stored it at, and choose that EV file. Click Open. Now, um, down here in our content view, if I expand that, you see there's uh, images, and if I expand that, then I um, can click this. And I see that um, this is what it tells me uh, is on the, the US the image file. Um, there's a haha.txt. Well, that's what we saw. That, that's one that hadn't been deleted. Now um, you can see it, it tells you deleted, yes, no, no, so forth. So you can see deleted files here. Um, tells you creation date, modified date, access date. Um, I don't think there's anything that useful over there, no, for what we're talking about at this point. And um, you see there looks like a Word document right here. And a temporary file is a Word document. Um, now notice this Word document has the same name as this, but this one has a size of zero. That's probably not going to benefit us any to analyze that one. But this one has a size to it. So that's uh, much more reasonable that we'd actually be able to get information from that. If I um, right click on this, you see different options. View, view as info, um, copy to clipboard, um, lots of different things there. If I choose view, it's going to bring up Word. And um, you see, I have this, and I'll click OK. And brings up this. Well, that's not very useful, is it? Uh, let's try this one. I'll right click on it and choose View. And you see, we got um, more gibberish. So it appears that like that's a link to the other one. Now this temp here. Now if I do a view, it tries to judge what's the best application, and uh, it doesn't know how to handle the TMP file. So I could um, do Windows 10, and I could choose apps and so forth. Uh, if I choose more apps here, uh, let me choose Notepad just to see. Now I'm gonna uncheck this. I always use this app to open them. Okay. And um, doesn't look like we got anything there. So you you kind of seeing a pattern here. It's kind of tedious, isn't it? Um, now some of these, as you click it, it'll show it down here. Sometimes when you have a a file that's been deleted 
then you um, you can access it. Sometimes you can't. It all depends upon if parts of the file have been overwritten. Now, over here under our um, content view, you see we got this, all selected files. There's cluster view. If I choose cluster view, this is where you can um, take a look at the individual items in memory. What's that say? Uh, a key. Okay. So boot manager remove this. Blah blah blah. Okay. Now the um, the registry view. You're probably not going to find anything here for a USB drive. I'd be shocked if you do. There's a event log, um, internet history viewer, view logs, search. If I come down here to the search, these are different searches you can do uh, for the content. And um, you can type in donuts. See if that uh, gives you anything. <laughs> And uh, I guess I'll click that. And it uh, shows you this that has donut in it. Um, so sometimes this is useful, sometimes not. I'm going to go ahead and save this project. And it'll ask me where. And I'll just save it there. That way, if I want to um, work with this further on, I don't have to keep re adding the image and so forth. The book uh, emphasizes this. Uh, it emphasizes that this is a. Uh, Doing analysis, uh, doing a forensics on a computer, especially if you got a huge. This is small. If you got a huge, um, huge amount of files to go through, it takes a while. And these searches here may be uh, beneficial. But anyway, that shows you doing the um, doing a acquisition and then analyzing that. Now I'm a little bit disappointed. In the past, I've been I've been able to open this Word document. So something's changed on a that USB drive such that I can't open it. Maybe it's because it's a newer version of Word. Um, I'd be shocked about that. I think it still should should work fine. Um, but uh, it's interesting. They say just by plugging in a USB drive that you potentially will change some files on that USB drive, and it could be that uh, it. It changed it slightly to where it damaged the file where I can't open it anymore. Uh, so that's uh, one thing to keep in mind is that um, those things will happen. That's why you don't use your original media and you plug and you plug it directly in because it could potentially change that uh, that media.